The Knot Live, what's hot in the world of weddings. She does amazing weddings. Destination weddings, you can look for her for dazzle, swanky style, just gorgeous vintage charm. She's based in San Francisco, but her weddings bring her all over the world. She's an incredible event designer. It's Allison, Allison Hotchkiss from Allison Events. Come on in, Allison. Hi. Good to see you. It's so good to see you. Thanks for this having me. This woman is incredibly talented. Um, so it's so fun to have you. And I really, I mean, the, the weddings that you bring together have so much like depth and detail and, and real like beauty and richness. Thank so you're you. going to have to share the secrets. Of course. That's what you're here to share with all of our, <laughs> our naughty viewers. Um, you know, what it takes and, and what you should be thinking about while you're making a great Absolutely. wedding. Absolutely. So the first tip that you um, have talked to us about is mix don't match. One of my favorites. So I'm going to show pictures. Okay. And um, also I want to show you Allison's book that she made with, um, you know, a fabulous photographer, uh, Thayer, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this book came out, it's a great little planner from our same publisher we work with, Chronicle, and so pick that up. Um, but let's go in with the tips. I'm sure a lot of these are covered sure. in there. Yep, absolutely. So the first one, mix don't match. Yes. Well, we just have found that it's really fun to uh, combine different colors, different textures, different linens. Um, you're seeing some in these photos. Just different bouquets, uh, not necessarily using all flowers, but being open to herbs and succulents and branches and mm. those types of elements. And you were even saying that bridesmaids bouquets shouldn't match, which I thought was a fantastic idea, like yeah. go with a color or a theme. But yeah, I think also too with bridesmaids dresses, you don't have to have the same color. I'm totally not the same color, not, not the same, same style. style. Exactly. It's much more modern looking. Exactly. I love that. Yes. And you bring it into the table as well. I love this picture. Yeah, this is one of my favorite weddings. Gorgeous. We really just tried to combine traditional shivari chairs uh, with some chairs that we actually pulled from the property. Um, so we kind of tried to combine a little bit of different elements. In addition to this photo, uh, benches. Benches are really fun in lieu of chairs. Pillows, uh, add a little spice of color, add a little bit of a variation on traditional seating. And then it's also not like everything symmetrical and perfect. Like exactly. It, it really lends a kind of more old world, kind of pulled it together feel. It feels more like. comfortable. Yeah. I think people want to exactly. have more comfortable, enjoyable weddings than have such structure and such formality. So I, I completely agree. Okay, the next one was create focus with fabric. So yes. talk to us. <gasps> what a beautiful space. This was really fun. This was a surprise New Year's wedding that mm -hmm. we did, and we actually had these frames. We what we call in the industry pipe and drapes. So we have mm -hmm. fabric along the wall and we have these gorgeous gold frames that were kind of lit up to create a different look. Here we did a beautiful turquoise linen that was the backdrop for the ceremony and it had this gorgeous heart hung oh, just so for great. a spice of color. Here we have um, different entrances to this uh, specific reception. We had this fabric custom made and so there was three different points you could enter the reception space. So it was just kind of fun and made it interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if you know about uh, tent liners, but this was a great Beatles Go to India themed wedding. And so we brought in kind of a Moroccan feel oh, look at that. in the liner. So. so the liners, I actually don't. That's totally new to me. I, I heard it here first. Yes. A tent liner, so they have basically built to, to size. Custom made. Um, there's also companies that carry certain liners as well, stripes, polka dots, um, any kind of patterns. That's fun. So it's that really fun. Of a real exactly. immediate sense of location. Exactly. That's unique. I love that. All right. Quirky outdoor decor. Mm. And so many of your weddings are just beautiful outdoor events. So this is fantastic. Yeah, this you is, made this? This is really fun. So this was, we just collected some vintage furniture and hot glue gun and some moss and we created this kind of ethereal midsummer night's dream uh, little lounge area with a, we actually had a chandelier hanging above it and here this is actually a ceremony backdrop at the de young museum in san francisco so we just kind of did an art installation feel for the backdrop for their ceremony same thing here just brought in natural uh, elements into the ceremony to kind of bring in nature it's so unique yeah more modern feel to it Fun. And the um, fa just different like found items, I mm. think, really is a le lends a sort of much more casual feel too. What have you? Oh, I love this one, the tea yeah, bags. Yeah, we wanted to bring in the client's Chinese heritage, and instead of doing the traditional tea ceremony, we actually had these little tea bag escort cards. So great. So it was really fun on this vintage ladder and. Um, it feels more kind of incorporated into the overall space. Exactly. I think, when There's you do that. certain elements. Like here, we had a vintage suitcase. suitcase that we wanted to incorporate into 
the design. And so this just kind of made it feel a little more fun. Again, Mexican heritage, the client collected Milagros, these yeah. tiny little Milagros and she hand nailed them into 22 oh, it's a table numbers. I didn't actually realize it. Yeah, it's a table, table number. Oh my gosh, that's great. Mm -hmm. But it does. And those are the things I think that can make a wedding feel really, truly unique because yeah. they're unique objects. Exactly. All right, floating florals is another mm. fun. If there's water, you've got to have picked flowers. Yeah, huh? I love floating things in water and I think um, this is a perfect example. Uh, perfect cost-effective way. Carnations, just balls of balls carnations, of carnations in floating in the water. <laughs> yeah, it adds a lot of color. Perfect. Escort cards, fish for your escort card on these pods. So everyone's names were floating in the fountain and, and their, their seating number was uh, placed on there. Oh, this is one of my favorite photos. Um, grand entrance. We just took the, the rowboat that the guests would go on and covered it with some foliage and the bride and the father entered oh, by rowboat. It's so, so beautiful. Fun. I think also remembering, this is one of the tips I know you're very into, which is like remembering this is about also catering to your guests. Exactly. Your guests, you want to take care of them while they're there. And I know one of the things we talked about, like, you know, kids areas, I think that's really fun to have the right kids space in your location. Kids tents, fun. In creating spaces, this is actually photos I took with my iPhone. <laughs> we had a before and after of the raw kind of corporate space that we brought in some pipe and drape and some flowers. So you can see it really made a big difference with bean bags and hula hoops and kids toys. So I think down right though to the, the guest bags. Welcome, the, welcome, welcome bags. bags. This is a perfect example of a wine country welcome bag, wines and cheeses. And you had some fun ones here for show and tell. Yeah. I loved this one. This so is one of our favorites. This is custom, sort of the schedule of events Yeah, on the what's outside. happening on the weekend. And this map tote bag was great. We had them make a little Palm Springs map on there where things were happening. Just screen printed, right? Exactly. Right. Yeah, so Very good. cost effective and fun. And it's something you can take home. So And people would actually really use it. It's like they're in lieu of their oh, souvenir. Yeah. Yeah. But this one I actually really love. Sorry, <laughs> I took that one away. This one I think is absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Yes. Awesome. I love this. This is basically the hangover helper goodie bag. <laughs> it is. Welcome back. Well, New Year's wedding, so. Yes, you're run. going to get drunk. Okay, but what's in here is, tell us what this is. Oh, Bloody Mary mix. The next morning, you need to have a little bloody. And to go with your Bloody Mary mix, you need you're going to have a headache, so you need to <laughs> Lots take some of aspirin. Pills. Some fun different stuff. A little I, bottle of vodka, some there wasabi you go. peas. That's great. I love it cuz it just it feels fresh and different. Yeah, and it's specific to this this wedding and this group, so. Really beautiful stuff, and that's always the packaging is very important to everyone. It makes it All look the absolutely tags. gorgeous. Exactly. Well, I think you had incredible tips. Thank Fun you. Stuff. I'm going to take this as my personal <laughs> yes, please um, do. welcome bag from this <laughs> event, my hangover helper. Um, but it's so always so great to have you. Thank you so Thank much, Thank you Allison. so much. If you want more wedding style, you can go to weddingstyle.com slash weddingstyle.